first time that it's just a So this looks like it. Oh my gosh, the most beautiful, which the kids seem to really love. I honestly don't know how they can fit it in. Oh my gosh, I, don't, I can't believe it's still going. Like, oh. Oh. So you need that when you come here. Honest with my reviews. Good morning and welcome to a new vlog. Uh, we have arrived in Greece. We are here for 10 days and uh, it is so lovely and sunny. The hotel where we're staying is absolutely beautiful so I cannot wait to share this with you. We've never been to Crete before so it's completely new to us. We've never been here. My husband I think actually went when he was little but he can't remember it. But we have never been so I'm very excited. This is probably about our second family holiday just with the five of us. In the past we've always gone away with a big massive holiday and so this is probably the first time that it's just us five. Last year we went to Cyprus, which was amazing. So this year we thought we'd try Crete, a little bit different. So far we arrived really late last night. I think it was about 1.30, nearly two. So we slept in, but we managed to get to breakfast, which was amazing. I will take you with me one morning and show you around the breakfast set up. It was so good. I've just been sorting out the rooms and unpacking and I've sent them all to the pool. So I'm gonna do a room tour in a minute um, so you can see the space that we've got. There seem to be different rooms and different setups around the kind of hotel. Um, I'm still trying to get my bearings. This morning we did do a walk around to look for the pools and the beach and I will do that with you and show you around as well. So we have got uh, like an internet connecting bedroom. Um, oh, I must just tell you, I've got this beautiful costume on. This is a new fantasy one. It's got a built-in kind of bra thing and it's a tankini, so it kind of goes down and then it's got the bottoms briefs underneath. But yeah, it's a really nice, beautiful blue colour. I've just got it on for the first time, but it's new on the website now, if you are interested at all. Anyway, so we've got interconnecting bedrooms, so I will just show you from out here so you can see. So we've got one little balcony here, and then one here, and then we've got a door that joins them both together. I don't know if you can get a good view there. So this is our room, we've got a big double bed here and then this kind of lounger which you'll see in the other room, they've made it into a bed so you could have three in a room and then we've got this kind of interconnecting door here which joins it kind of all together. It's all um, sort of done in a really cool kind of style, I love the tiles. They're kind of very like Bert and May, you know, really kind of trendy. And then we were greeted by really lovely like gifts when we came, maps, like the actual introduction of when we arrived was really nice. So we were really late and mum was like, right, here are the keys. This is when breakfast is, here's a map. Fill in these forms and come back tomorrow, which is great. Before in the past, we've had to sort of stand and queue and wait and you know it's been a bit annoying because they're all so tired anyway so it's really good and um, so then this is the children's room in here so we've got two here so these are two singles been pushed together and then the kind of day bed that they've made up into a bed and then they've got their own balcony too so there are rooms here that have got a bunk bed for the children if you look on the website and it looks really cool. Unfortunately, we couldn't get it. We were too late in booking, but if you can get that, they look really good. And I know a friend that stayed in it, in the bunk bedroom and it's really, it's quite successful, I think, I hope. Uh, anyway, I think this will be fine for us. We've got this interconnecting door here to join us up together. They all slept fine in here last night. It's very cool. It's got nice air conditioning. Again, it's just got really cool, Decor, beautiful chair over there, I love the fabric. And the furniture's really nice. I'll just show you the bathroom so you can see. So each room also has wardrobes here, put all the clothes away. And this is the bathroom. So it's quite minimalist, just plain neutral, but got some nice features, you know, 
big shower, so there's no bath, which is great because I don't think anyone will want a bath in this heat. Just nicely done, very clean and modern. Here you can see. That should give you an idea of the sort of rooms. Now, I think there are kind of different rooms available. And I think we've just, I think we've just got like a garden room with a patio. Some of the bedrooms over there though, looked like they had rooms that went out onto a pool. So I think if you were earlier booking, I would really investigate the sort of bedroom situation and the different rooms you could get. Uh, but I think this will be fine for us. It's quite cute. We'll hopefully be able to sit out here in the evening, uh, my husband and myself when they go to sleep. Um, and just chill out. There's also lots of lounges around. Um, we've got cushions you seem to have for every apartment space, uh, room, I should say. So I think that's quite good that you could sort of move your, and you can come over here and get some peace away from the pool. Anyway, I'll take you down to the pool now so you can see where they all are. Wow! So this is one of the restaurants that's near us. I'll just come in to quickly have a look to show you. I think this is the one that you can see on the website quite a lot. I mean, it looks very pretty, doesn't it? So these are some of the bedrooms. So I think they're just all different shapes and different sizes from what I can work out. But they all pretty much look like this kind of feel. I'm just gonna go down to this yoga suite bit down here. So we're coming up to the main sort of reception area and there's a shop inside and then bar area. And then the pools go all out here. I'll show you those another day. Quite busy, not as packed as I thought it was going to be. I'll take you inside so you can see. Front. You don't normally see this on any of their like social media or anything like this on their website but I just thought I'd show you the front of the hotel so it looks very similar to lots of hotels I've stayed in before. Uh, obviously though when you get inside it's like beautiful interiors and really beautifully decorated but I quite like the simplicity of how it just looks at the front. So I found the garden that I was reading lots about. Um, let's step through here. Oh wow. It's like a proper kitchen garden. Amazing onions. Pumpkins. And courgettes here. I must say the fruit and vegetables that we've seen so far look amazing. Look at these tomatoes that are coming, wow.
more tomatoes over here and then there's a, like a little seating area this must be where they do their talks and things um oh it's like a proper kitchen they do uh, do kind of like courses and things like that so this must be where they do it all here looks very nice i'd love an outdoor kitchen like this So this looks like a little bar, it says 5.30 to 11. Coffee and alcohol basically, coffee shop. It looks very sweet. morning we've had a really relaxing morning around the pool i've just been for a long walk along the water the sea um which was very nice and now i'm heading back to meet them all i think we're going to have some drinks and a cool down because it's very very hot oh, and chocolate sauce chocolate sauce you've got yourself are these all the sauces Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> right one. Uh, what do you want? Chocolate. Oh my god. Good evening. We are just heading out for dinner. Um, I've got on my LK Bennett dress. Can I show you? Let me try and come down. 
Oh, these are the first time I've had these on there, phase eight. Oh, I tied my hair back in some sort of fun thing. Yeah, my hair does not do well in this weather. Caught the sun here as well. So anyway, we're gonna go and have some drinks in the hotel like lobby area um, first. We've just come down to the beach, the most beautiful sunset. Can you see that? Oh, we've just been doing some photos down here, but the girls want to go and watch Pirates of the Caribbean at the kids club. So I think we're, we're, we're about to leave now to go and watch that. What a shame, because this would have been rather nice just to sit here. So, so pretty. The sunset is amazing. I was going to say good morning, but I think it's actually the afternoon. Um, we have spent the day around the pool, the kind of main pool bit, which the kids seem to really love. It's got like a baby, small, tiny, round pool. Then it's got kind of like a medium pool, which has got different height levels, depth levels, I should say. Um, then there's kind of like a lounging area on, on the side of it, in the water, I mean. And then there's another pool, which is kind of attached. So mainly people with children are around that pool, I would say. I'm gonna try and head to the beach later on this afternoon. I'm just gonna go for a walk. I want to try and get my uh, 10,000 steps in. So far, I've managed it every day, but I've just been exploring around the area. There isn't that much to explore outside the hotel. It's just like a road. And then yesterday I walked away along the beach, which was quite nice. But there isn't that many other hotels around here. There's not, the town I would say is probably about 20 minutes from here. Um, from what I've heard, it's not like the best to go to. Um, so I don't think we'll probably go to the town, but we'll see how we get on. Uh, for now though, I'm just gonna do, and do a potter, a walk around, explore the area a little bit more, uh, and then we're gonna go and get some ice creams. I think the kids were very excited yesterday by the ice creams, the waffle machine and the pancake machine. I honestly don't know how they can fit it in. Because we are doing a half board, we are having like a big breakfast and a dinner. And then you can go to those met the main restaurant to have that. And then last night you will have seen we went to an Italian restaurant and you get 15 euros per person in these other restaurants. If we went full board, I think it was gonna be about another 3,000 pounds, nearly that, more. And um, we decided that actually that we didn't want to. And now looking at the menu, so some drinks are all inclusive. Some drinks are slightly cheaper for all inclusive. So it's not all completely free. And I think it's always good to like really explore that as much as you can before you book. And anyway, we, we decided that we would have a big breakfast and then we would have a big dinner. And then I think we're going out on three or four nights to different restaurants in the, within the hotel uh, using our 15 euros per person. Tonight we're going back to the main restaurant which the kids are really excited by because it's basically like a massive buffet and they just love it. So they get to choose what they want, they get to try out different things. Um, there's quite a good kids selection as well. So I'm hoping that they will love it again tonight. We went there on the first night. And then um, we will probably, I'm gonna try and get everyone to go down for a drink in by the beach 
this evening because it was so nice last night with the sunset it was beautiful and it's just really chilled and relaxed down there it's just really nice vibe i would definitely say this is a children's hotel for like i wouldn't come here as a couple um or i wouldn't come here like without kids I've seen maybe a few couples and the rest of the people have definitely have children, lots of young little children. Um, we're going to explore the kids club as well, so I will fill you in on that later. of a port, port I would say and there's a few boats I'm not quite sure what it's a port for or you can rent a boat over there anyway I'm gonna head back along the beach now um, see if I can find some nice bars Let me just have a look at this can you twist it round so I can see what's, what is actually on there oh my gosh Tilly that looks lethal. Phoebe's got strawberries. this cocktail which looks very nice so what you can do is on here oh sugar I'm attached to my wire to charge up my phone is you put in this little QR code thing there and then that is a bell and so you can see all the menu of food and stuff like that drinks and then you press the bell and then a waiter comes and um, takes your order so it's rather cool. This is all down the beach here, so it's quite a long beach. We're just on the end bit because the kids have gone in over here. And I'm just sitting here relaxing. Honestly, this is so lovely. I'm feeling very grateful to be here right now. It's such stunning weather and just feel so relaxed. Good morning from a very hot beach. I literally can't even step onto the sand without it burning. Everybody's in the sea, so I'm gonna go and find them. Oh, I've got to run across the hot sand. Hold on. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. Um, I'm gonna go and put my feet in the water. You can see they're all out there. They're looking for little fishes. Yesterday we found quite a few, so they are on a mission now to just go and have a look to find any more fish around. Oh, it is 
beautiful day. Have you found some? There's lots of fish. There's eight over there. Oh no. Oh my gosh. So I've just come up for a little walk, but I just wanted to show you around a bit so you can kind of get an idea of where everything is. This is one of the restaurants that you can book to come to. Uh, it's the Mediterranean one. Um, so it looks just out onto the sea here. And then the beach shack is over there, which I showed you a bit last night where we went for drinks. And then all the beach seating runs all the way down here and actually right over down into this bit over there. Let me just show you this restaurant there, it's beautiful. So as you can see, the seating is like beautiful. The chefs and the waitresses are just getting ready for service for lunch, I think. So you could come here for lunch. We've literally eaten so much breakfast that there's nowhere I could possibly eat anything until tonight. But the kids have pizzas here and there were kids size pizza, but they were really big kid size. Uh, my kids ate them, but they're slightly older. So I would recommend maybe getting one between two if they're younger. But yeah, I just wanted to show you this space because I think the decor is just beautiful. It's really pretty. Are you going to come out? Yeah. Yeah? Come on then, let's go and get an ice cream. So we've just collected them from the kids club um, and now we're going to have a swim before we get ready for dinner. Um, this is one of the other restaurants, which is really nice. It's always packed at lunchtime, um, but I just love the decor here. It's really, really cool and relaxed. Let's see if we can find them in the pool. We've left the others watching the film after our drink and Raph and I are heading back to bed. Good morning, I was gonna to attempt to, oh, that might work. No, 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 if I stand like this. I was going to show you some of my products that I've brought with me away because I haven't done that yet and I wanted to show you. Um, so first up, I have got Oh, this isn't right either. Clearly not a beauty blog, am I? I've literally, hmm, um, hold on. Right, so this is the Magic Eye Rescue Cream. 
um, but it's a sample. So if you go into store, they have samples of pretty much, I would say, everything. And last time I went in, I actually bought the eye cream, if you remember from my last week's vlog, um, which is like this pen, which is really cooling around the eye. And I just thought, you know what, I don't want to take loads of stuff with me. Look at my, my picture in that mirror. So I um, got a little sample. It's actually quite a big sample, to be honest, there's loads of cream in there. So I've been using that around my eye area, um, morning and actually at night as well, um, just to really um, refresh it and clear it up. I haven't really, I have brought some foundation, but my um, long wear, what's it called? Beautiful skin, there we go, you should know that name. I bought this with me, however, I've not actually used it because I've been using these other products, which I'm gonna show you. So first up, my go-to has been this. Um, can I get it to focus on that? There we go. So this is a Bargy's Tint. It's a sun shield and it has a fifth factor 50 in it. And I've basically been wearing this every day and into the evening too as a kind of very light foundation but it gives you a bit of coverage too so at home i tend to like more of a full coverage however while i'm away i just don't have time for that it just pours off my face anyway so uh i have been using this and i totally recommend it it's a really big nice tube as well in that there's lots of product in there this should last me a long long time i would think um but yeah i totally recommend this and i'd actually quite like to have a body like so you can see it going on it's just a, a light coverage but gives a little bit of a glow just really nice for the summer looking for something a bit lighter than normal they also sent me one of their concealers this is the farewell cream concealer I feel like I'm slowly getting old with my eyes can you see there it's like a tube but it's almost like a big crayon can you see that um it's sort of like liking to focus on it and I've just been using this under my eyes just to lighten it up you can wind it up at the bottom it's just a, a quite a nice chunky product to use i i don't know about you but i don't tend to try to buy anything that's like a pencil related because i can never find a sharpener it always break it just never seems to work so this kind of chunky crayon is much better for people like me anyway so just added that on that was a really nice giving a glow like that and then they also sent me this beautiful blusher i use their brushes quite a bit already when i'm in the uk but this they've just sent me um in bloom radiant liquid blush and again you really don't need very much this is the peony color uh, it's kind of like like a product like this if you can see there it really doesn't want to focus on this does it so you just squirt a tiny bit up and then i just put bits up here and then just dab it in and it just gives a really lovely summer glow. So as the day goes on, as I say, I'll keep adding my Factor 50 onto my face and my body. I just think they're great products uh, that I want to tell you about. Oh, did you see I've lost my nail? I'm really up there. These lovely nails and then one gone. Not a good look, is it? I'm contemplating what to do, whether to try and find some pink nail varnish somewhere from a supermarket, or just take them all off. So you will see later on in the week what I decide to do. Anyway, really nice colour. Um, I've got on my um, fantasy dress. This is actually last year's. It's really nice. It's kind of like a green khaki colour and then it fades to white. Uh, it's like a long dress. It's really nice to wear. I've just teamed it with the blue swimsuit, which I showed you at the beginning of the week from fantasy as well got on my trusty phase eight necklace which i don't can't believe it's still going i keep wearing this in water and everywhere it's got some hand lotion in it and everything and it still just goes which is great anyway i'm gonna be going out to the pool i'm just gonna go like this not putting anything else on it's very very hot out there today so today we're going to head to the swimming pool the main pool uh, then we might do a bit of the beach and then we might
might go back to the other smaller lagoon pool. Um, the kids really enjoyed the kids club yesterday. They did, they painted some t-shirt type character things and then they did a big water fight which involved lots of water bombs and guns which you can imagine my lot absolutely loved so that was really good that filled two hours so the good thing about this club is that you can just drop them off they go in they do the activity and then you can pick them up after one hour two hours or whatever they want to do so today i think they're going to do i think it was like a superhero book bookmark hour listen properly um which tilly was quite keen to do and then i think there's some sort of clay pottery thing after so they might stay and do that as well uh raf's quite keen to join in with the football last night we went to watch the lion king which was really good on the big screen um down the end of the hotel and i took raf to bed a bit earlier because it went on for quite a long time but the girls stayed up to watch it so that was good they stayed with my husband so there's plenty of different activities to do if you're looking for somewhere that's not got like a full-on kids club then this is the place for you I don't think my children would want to go all day or all afternoon or all morning so it's quite good that you can dip in for an hour here an hour there and depending on what you want to do and it was actually really nice yesterday we had two hours to ourselves we just sat on the beach had some cocktails and it was just nice to have that time on our own um anyway we will see what today brings so i can't believe it's friday already uh, we're here for another i think five days or something like that which is really good and that's the other thing i totally recommend booking 10 days away uh, last year we did a week and it went far too quickly so if you're thinking about 10 days or a week definitely do 10 days just come down to the beach the water is quite clear if you go round these little cove bits here there's quite a few little fish so the girls are loving like that and searching for them it's absolutely boiling i think it's nearly four o'clock and it is so hot i'm not complaining apparently in england the weather is awful everybody's got like their thermals on and jumpers on um so this is absolutely amazing i'm feeling incredibly grateful to be here it's such gorgeous weather So we've just got ready for dinner and the girls have just been writing postcards to all the grannies and some people are still in the pool. It's, what time is it? It's nearly seven now. I was trying to get some shots on these beautiful lounges, but every time I come, there's someone already on them. So I need to be more organized and try and get some photos here. But everyone's just looking really peaceful and relaxing at the moment. Raph's just gone to play a bit of football. Um, Matilda's reading and Phoebe's gone to post her, her postcards. What, this one? No, no this. The desserts are so good. In fact, do you know what? I think I'm going to go back and show everyone the desserts. What did you get? 18 and uh, 3. 18 and 3? 21. 21. Oh. 
Has Daddy found it? Oh, you're in luck. Good morning. We are just heading to go and find the kids club for the teens. I think they're going to make bracelets and Raph is going to do some rock painting. Um, and then we're going to find out when we can do a bit of basketball, aren't we? It's got this ball. So I'm just walking around the back. So these are some of the other little apartments. Well, not rooms, I should say. They're not really apartments. And so you get like a... Um, so if you're upstairs you have a balcony, if you're downstairs you have like a little lounging area. Um, I'm walking up the back here because I'm going to the kids club, I think they're going to start their water fight. Um, so I'm just going to put a load more sun lotion on at the moment because it's so hot before they start their water fight. Oh, I think they're already on it. Matilda's there. Good evening, we're all freshly showered and are heading out to the beach now for some drinks. Uh, Raph is going to sing his song though. Oh, wanna donut. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so we've just had a drink at the beach shack and now we're heading to a new restaurant that I haven't actually been to um, yet, or we haven't been to. Um, so I have no idea what it's going to be like, but I will take some photos and document it all so you can see what the food's like um, when we get there. I'm just going to walk to find it. It's, I think it's near where we're staying. Nobody's out yet eating in this restaurant. This must be closed tonight because there's no table set up and normally it's packed so I reckon this restaurant must be closed for a Saturday night how random walking back down and so if you have one of these rooms then you get like a sun lounger space sort of reserved which is quite nice so you can see they're all sort of reserved on little discs on the back look at this one she's stuck in that book um yes yeah, so it goes down here i think it's called the lagoon pool or something like that the river pool that's what it's called Anyway, it's quite a cool pool and it's quite nice and warm as well. And it just goes from up there all the way down and then goes up there. And that's kind of like a little beachy area, which is obviously fake, but and it's got different levels. So it's quite good for Raf because he can stand in quite a lot of it. This is like the main walk back up to the hotel here. I'd say everything's done up quite nicely. Like all the plants and all the gardens are really well kept. Like they came around and cut the lawn outside this morning. Um, there are a lot of staff. I suppose the people are still in the pool. So this is the other pool, which is just here. So you can see they're quite close together. Anyway, I get, better go because I need to find out where we're going. This is the bones gone now and then I have some potatoes with um, spinach inside. <laughs> James has got lamb. I'm 
Good morning, we are just at the lagoon pool. We've just come down to this bit here. Um, it's kind of, you can see the bit I was talking about yesterday. I think it was yesterday. It's obviously not a real beach. It's got, but made to look like a real beach. The slope going in is really, oh, hi Fee. Um, it's really shallow as it goes in, so it's perfect for Rafferty um, so that he can actually walk and swim. Because a lot of it is deeper in different areas, but this bit, it works really, really well. Donut. I'm just heading out for a walk but I'm just walking past the main restaurant so inside here is the main restaurant where it's kind of got the buffet selection where you would come here for breakfast and if you were having dinner you'd come here as well and then these are all the tables so sometimes we've been sitting outside and sometimes we've sat inside I would say it's got busier since we've been here or maybe we've just been getting up later I'm not sure but this is the kind of like main walkway and then this is where the seating area is there's also plenty of high chairs there's loads of these there's this one which is really good and some of these as well so there's loads of people with little kids so I'd say that that is really helpful I'm just going to head up um, into the main um, bit of the walk up from the hotel and then walk around to the beach and do a walk. This is the shop here. And the entrance to the main restaurant, as you can see, is here, which is obviously closed now. But this is the shop, so it's open in the mornings and I'd say in the evenings. Oh, well, here we are, opening hours, yeah, mornings and evenings basically and they've got everything in there. Um, similar prices to the little supermarket down the road, but they have got everything there. I'll show you the little supermarket um, when we get there. Um, and then they've also got the summer wash shop, which is quite random, but some people have been going in it. This is where they display all what's going on. So we've got all the outdoor activities like yoga, things like that. And then you've got the evening music entertainment, movie nights with the different movies, the kids club, um, the baby clubs there. And then this is the teen program, as you can see as well. So the main reception is just over here. And then there are lots of different staff that can help. Can come and sit up here in the evenings or in the day to work. I'm totally going to steal this idea of the floor, by the way. I love this. I just said to my husband, do you think you could do that in the um, my imaginary boot room? He was like, mm, I'm sure you can. We talked about it before because we were just going to do like tiles like this, but I actually quite like this. Um, I'm sure he could do that, couldn't he? Yeah. yeah, I'm sure he can. 
So this is what the teen space looks like. It's just in here. So it's right at the end of the hotel. And then over here, you've got the basketball tennis court, which I think you have to book out and Raf's desperate to try and shoot some goals in there. And I really don't think he'll be able to. So I must ask, um, but yeah, this is the, it's called the place where the teens are supposed to go, except there don't seem to be that many teens. Um, but anyway, I think, um, So I'm just going to leave the hotel now and walk along the main road and I'm going to show you the little supermarket which is about a five minute walk less probably um, up here. It's tiny but it does have kind of things if you were looking for certain things um, like bike cream for instance you need that if you come here um, and uh, I, I don't think it's a kind of sightseeing place and I did realise that before I came because we wanted a total relaxed holiday where it was just sitting by a pool not doing anything and that is exactly what it is so if you're interested in sightseeing or anything like that then perhaps this is not the place for you um, there isn't that much around uh, to go and see my husband walked to Malia which is about 20 minutes up this way yesterday and he was like yeah it's not worth going to um so if as long as you don't mind that then this is the perfect hotel but i think i need to be like honest with my reviews um i'm obviously doing a little circuit round and a walk but i honestly can't see anything you can see here there is not that much to see here it's nice though with the breeze seeing as it's so hot absolutely boiling Boiling, boiling, boiling. I'm really hoping I'm going to come back lovely and brown, and I don't think I am because I've been hiding in the shade because it is so hot. I'm listening to a podcast as I'm walking along, but I'll show you the supermarket when I get up here so you can see. So, this is the little supermarket here. There is one slightly further on, which I'd say is slightly bigger. Ooh, I'm whizzing past here. Um, so, there's an ATM, there's some drinks, you could buy wine if you wanted, suntan lotion. We've bought things like water in there. Um, I haven't really bought much, to be honest. Water, the girls bought a little friendship bracelet thing that was in there. You can get lilos. A snorkels, we bought a snorkel thing. Anyway, so it's very kind of basic, but it does have lots in it. And then if you head further down this way, you will find another supermarket, which is slightly bigger. That's about it up here. I wouldn't say there's much else unless you head into Malia, uh, which is a good, I'd say 20 minute walk. Good evening, um, we are heading out to the beach. We're gonna go for a drink. We've all had showers and got all the sand off. We had a lot of sand today. Um, I've got on my phase eight dress, which I got from the opening at the Leeds store. And I love it. It's really nice, especially with the tan. Just talking about her dress. I haven't done it for you, We've got our white on today. Should have this on tomorrow, shouldn't we? For our anniversary. What's mine? <laughs> You're so annoying. <laughs> Do you think oh look, that back oh, yeah. one is a moving. Yeah, that's like the fish I had last night, isn't it?
Good evening. Um, we've just got back from the bar. Oh, Matilda's going to come and record for me. Do you want to just come and check that I'm actually in focus? I can't seem to work my camera. Is it going to work? Do you want to use this? No, no, you just check. Am I in focus? No, your screen? head's going off the screen. <laughs> Is it quite bad? Your head's going off the top of your screen. Oh, okay. Is that okay? Right, um, we've just had a really lovely dinner, haven't we? Yeah. And we went for some drinks by the pool, didn't we? Yeah. Yes. And so, we all listened to a duet. And we listened to some music um, and now we're back. So I'm just going to say thank you very much for watching the YouTube video. Tool's laughing at me. <laughs> you watch it. Are you laughing? Um, I hope you come back next week and thank you uh, very much. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog all about our holiday in Greece. Mm -hmm.